All right, nothing is more frustrating than poor customer service. A Valley couple recently ran into an issue with their home security company. 13 consumer advocate Trisha Keen says they couldn't get answers for months, so they reached out to our call for action team and got some results. We got frustrated. We didn't know what to do. Ron and Val Lambert say they were fed up. It was back in June when they started having problems with their security alarm system. The keypad, yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't take. Some of the buttons on this 19-year-old equipment weren't working. Ron and Val called again and again, but with no answers. For months and months and months I called them. Ron says the situation went from bad to worse when he finally got in touch with someone from the corporate office. They couldn't find our customer number or the invoice number. Ron says not only was he getting monthly bills in the mail, he and Val were still making payments, even though they couldn't actually use the alarm system. Never, never behind on any payments. Finally left with nowhere to turn, Val had an idea. I've seen, I've seen on TV, you know, so many times about Channel 13 and you guys and that you can help people. And I said, all right, I'm going to call them. Our call for action volunteers reached out to the security company and about a week later delivered results. They called me and told me, you know, they're going to do this, change the whole system out, put a new system in at their cost. So what do you need to know about hiring a home security company? First, make sure they're properly licensed with the Nevada State Contractors Board. The company's license number should be printed right on their contract. Second, check if they're a member of the Nevada Security Association. These are companies that have been licensed, they're insured, and they've got a good reputation. John Pertichizzi is the owner of a third-party business, ASAP Security. He says it helps to work with a Nevada-based company. If you use a local company, you've always got a place to go to to speak to possibly the owners, managers. Uh, if you have a problem, you have some recourse. It's also important to carefully read over the terms on your contract. We have a three-year agreement, which is pretty much standard. There are also some companies out there that are going for five and seven years, which I think is outrageous. Then once you've picked a company, John says it's important to check your system on a monthly basis. You should actually, you know, call, your, call up your operators, your central station, let them know you're testing the alarm system just as a courtesy, and then uh, set the alarm off and find out if they got the signal or not. As for Ron and Val, they're happy with their current security company now that their equipment has been updated. But they have a message for anyone facing a similar customer service problem. Get old Channel 13 because they do their job. And they did a darn good one. All right, well, it is worth mentioning. Yeah. Beware of security companies selling their systems door to door. There's a lot of deceptive sale tactics out there. We're biased, but our Contact 13 uh, team, they really are amazing. <laughs> All right, anyone you invite into your home should have a picture ID and a sheriff's card showing that they've gone through a pro proper background check. If you have a story idea or local issue you need our help with, give us a call. Our team is here weekdays between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. Uh, and they can assist you with working out some of those um, issues. The number is 702-368-2255. Of course, if you call our newsroom any hour of the day or night, we'll work to help you. But that's when those volunteers are here. And they are the experts. They are.